Are you on the hunt for a sander? I was. I put it out on all my socials. I asked everybody like, hey, I need something better. The vibration was making my hand go numb. Dust was getting everywhere. The sanding stuff didn't get or in and around. It just didn't work. And one particular company kept coming up, Surf Prep. And I went ahead and I checked it out, went on their website and had a little bit of sticker shock. I was like, whoa, compared to the $100 jobby at you know the big box store, this thing was expensive. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my very first of many videos to come, if that's any kind of hint for you, is, is the Surf Prep sanding system worth it? So if this is something you're looking forward to. Stay tuned today on RGTV. So I figured I'd start off by just showing you what I bought. So I decided to get the three x four electric ray. There is different versions of each. You can check all that out on their website. But just for this video, for the sake of this video, we're only talking about the three x four electric ray because there might be other ones in the future. So for today, I bought this. It was about 45 days ago. It was just one of those things where I knew I needed a better way to do sanding. And I've had several friends within the business, whether it's painting and or refinishing, that said I needed to try this whole surf prep thing. So I invested the money. I'm going to tell you if it was worth it or not. And we're just going to walk through everything you get to start with that. So you get their electric gray, which is this guy. It's just like this nice compact size holes because this is the vacuum version. I got the dust extraction vacuum version because I knew very specifically this was one of the things that I wanted to upgrade and make sure worked much better than what I had pre uh, previous. What you get is this, okay, and then I decided to get the 10 foot um, hose which has kind of this swivel jobby here with the blue it swivels so it saves the cord and everything getting all wrapped up within itself and then the cord actually has little clips that will clip on to the hose which is another great thing keeps it from getting all tangled up and all over the place and then we have sanding sponges so if you didn't know surf preps really big for this is taking one of these sanding sponges attaching it to this and then having a way to get in and around like contoured areas. And again, I'll do more on these specifically, but you get different versions of with the sanding system. So that's what was kind of cool is I bought the sanding system and I got a little bit of everything. So I, I've had an opportunity over these first 45 days to play and test and try and do all kinds of fun stuff to really see what this thing is made of and what you can do with it. So it comes with all the different options that you would want for sanding. And there's even more beyond sanding. That'll be another video. So you get uh, five mil, 10 mil and a half inch sanding sponges comes in a whole array of, you know, grit, um, depending on what you're needing. You'll probably have a little bit of everything in that stack that you get with the sanding system. And then they have sanding film, sanding paper, and then these are called, and I got my little cheat sheet here, these are called screen sanding sheets. So it's like this. So it's pretty unique, it goes through. Now again, I've only had this thing for eh, about 45 days, been playing with it for about 35-ish of those. So I'm not completely well-versed in everything. It's been a lot of playing and testing, and I knew this was coming, this is the sharing part of what I found out about this system, because the question I've been asked the most is, is it worth it? So I figured this would be a great way to start a video series on surf prep. So you get this really cool cheat sheet, which I thought was pretty cool. You can find this on their website as well. If you happen to lose it, it's a PDF document on their website and you can print it off if you need to. But basically if you're brand new, it will walk you through, okay, the five millimeter, 10 millimeter, all these things, what they do, what they're for. So if you're really like 
I don't know, that's just too much. You know, normally a sander, you slap the thing on and you go sand and you're done, right? Pick a grit and that's it. Well, this thing has a lot more options than that. So if you're a little intimidated by that factor, they have a nice little cheat sheet that's gonna walk you through everything. So, and then the biggest part, and I wanna make sure I hit on this because I forgot the first time I put it on, is you have two, this pad that goes on your sander, this red part that has the hook that hooks everything to it, right? Well, recommended is to use a pad saver, which is this little thin jobby that saves from this pad getting ruined. So you stick this on like this, and then you stick your sanding sheet, sanding sponge, whatever it is you're gonna use on that. Or if you want something that's more spongy, like the sanding sponges, to contour around but use a sanding sheet to do it, you have an interface pad. But either one is something you wanna use on your, uh, the pad. So this is something you wanna use in case you wanna do like rounded edges or something like that, but you wanna use the paper or the film. So just another thing to keep on your electric gray and make sure you take care of your pads. So you have the interface pad and the pad saver to do that. So put that on and then whatever you're gonna use. And then, let's see, I got, this guy, so I'm not gonna take it away from this because I've got it on there pretty tight, but this is a two and a half inch, basically vacuum attachment. So I take, stick this on the end of my hose, and then this goes right into my shop vac. And what's really cool is they actually have a tool on their website to help you figure that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut to that so you can kind of see what that tool looks like and how that works. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and show you on Surf Prep's website how you go about finding what attachment you're gonna need for your shop vac. And I know that's a kind of a big thing because ultimately at the end of the day, the dust extraction part of this system is so amazing that you want to ensure if that's the kind that you buy, that you have the right adapter. Because heaven forbid, you get it to your house and you don't have the right adapter and then you can't utilize the tool and you gotta wait for your adapter to come. So to alleviate that, they have this really cool tool. And this is what I did when I ordered mine. So you go up here, you go to products, you go down to, from the categories, you go all the way down to the bottom and it's going to have vacuum accessories. You click on that. And basically what's gonna come up with is like a a tool that's gonna allow you to help you pick. So you need help choosing vacuum accessories? And I was like, yeah, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So I click the button and it's gonna take me to the questions, right? So dust extractor. So first and foremost, are you planning to connect your surf prep sander to a Fesdo, Merca, or Fine vacuum? And I didn't have any of those. And I already knew the one I was going to buy wasn't one of those, so I said no. And hit next. And then your vacuum adapter, blah, 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 lots of information that tells you why and what and who and when. But ultimately at the end of the day, you find the port diameter or hose diameter of your vacuum and you will see which reducer and hose will work for you. And I have a two and a half inch, so that's the one I picked. So I click two and a half and I click see compatible products. And that is exactly what I picked. I picked that guy right there and it works amazing. Perfect along with the rigid shop vac that I bought. And then I also got this hose, which I showed you guys. It has the swivel between the black and the blue, which allows it to not get tangled up. As you would imagine a hose would sometimes, it allows that to kind of swivel and move. And also it's 10 feet long, so it's perfect by itself if you didn't want to connect it to your actual shop vac hose as well, but that is an option. So that's how you go on their website and you just click through and you can find exactly what you need. That way you don't have to worry about getting your tools in and not being able to use them because of an adapter issue. And everything that they have, I mean, they have all kinds of stuff on their website from the PDF of all of their sanding sponges and all kinds, they have amazing customer service. This, the support that you'll find just on the website alone is really top notch. And then if you need anything from them, they're really quick to get back to you. So but this is the main thing I wanted to show you. This is this little helper tool so you can find out exactly what you need. All right, so that's what you get with your sanding system when you buy a 
three by four electric ray. And again, I got a couple of attachments. The hose was an extra thing. I think it was well worth it because it has the swivel, it's a little longer, and then the specific attachment for my vacuum. So again, just wanted to go over what I got to start the video off. And then next I'm gonna go through a few of the things that I've learned in my first 45 days. All right, so first and foremost, the biggest thing for me that I had the, a problem with with just your generic orbital sander was the vibration. Um, retired Air Force guy, spent a lot of years just military, PT, sports, all the things I have bad wrists, like really bad. And uh, the whole vibration thing would cause numbness and pain, carpal tunnel, all the different kind of things. So if it was like I knew I needed to sand something, I might go the long route and strip and clean and do all that kind of stuff to avoid sanding because it was just easier on my body ultimately at the end of the day. And I knew there was you know, a better way to do it, a more streamlined way to get my process of things done and have a little bit of that, you know, military organization where I would like to streamline processes and sanding or stripping back a surface was one of them. And with this sanding system, there's just, I'd say, like minimal, like the, the very, very minimal vibration that affects like how you hold it, where you're holding it, you know, your wrist, your hands, all that kind of stuff. I could tell you after about 20 minutes of your typical orbiter, orbital sander, I would have to just stop and take a break. Well, with this one, I probably used it for about an hour. One day I sanded, basically sanded an entire dresser. I started off just doing the drawers and just kept on going. Did the whole thing. It looks amazing. I'm looking forward to doing something with it. But after I was all said and done, I didn't have any pain. There was no numbness. Like literally when I would use the other one, it would just, I would, the whole half of my hand would be numb. And that was one of the big things for me. And I don't know, there's probably a lot of people like me out there that, you know, are looking for something that just easier to use, easier on your body. And with this, just the design, I mean, I'm not a technical expert. I can't tell you the exact ways or how it does, what it does, but I can tell you just holding it like this is actually really cool. I'm having some weird gripping way to hold it. And then just the lack of vibration. It just, it's just not there like you would find in a typical big box store orbital sander. And from that, I don't have the pain that I get from the vibration. And for me, that was a big selling point and hit, they hit a home run with this one, A plus on this one from me because it has made me be able to sand longer and not have any issues. Next is this rectangular design. And if you didn't already notice that, I mean, cool, right? Just think about the aspects of what you try to do with a normal orbital sander that's circular in all the places you can't get into. Then you gotta get another sander out. You gotta get the little mouse thing, which I, was stubborn and never even bought because I'm like, I already have one sander. I'm not gonna buy another one to get in. So I would do it by hand. So another just, you know, thing that was causing more time, causing more effort than was needed. Now that I know, right? So it has this rectangular shape and it just, like I said, a lot of square edges that you need to get into, you can get in no problem in and around. And then if you need to get into rounded spaces, We'll talk more about that here in a little bit. And then came the power test. So I'll share a little video here, probably up here, here somewhere to show you some of the power this thing had. I've been working on a couple of different things, some end tables I just did a complete makeover of and it powered right through that finish so much so that I did it just to see what would happen. I ended up just deciding to do the whole tops to both of them with the sander itself. So it has that kind of power. So it'll rip through a finish. You're using the right, you know, additions to, and I'll get more into that in, in future videos. But it has the power to rip through finishes, rip through all that stuff and get down to the bare wood, no problem at all. But the other part, which is amazing for me as a furniture refinisher is scuff sanding. You know how time consuming it is to hand scuff a complete big 12 drawer dresser. It's a pain in the, you know what? Well, you could do the same thing with this sander. So where before I'm talking about the power of, now 
you can make this as gentle as you want. You can get a, a extra fine sanding sponge or sanding sheet, turn this thing on its lowest setting and just nice little scuff sand over everything. And I'm telling you, it saves so much time and it's just so easy to do rather than going in there and trying to, you know, get in the corners to scuff that little area or just in general, imagine scuffing something by hand and then imagine having a tool that you can just go and you're done. Really cool stuff. Okay, and so one of the other points that was a huge selling point for me was some of these videos I've been seeing, my friends have been sending me or sharing on their socials, is how there's this rounded space that they need to go over top of, and they had this thing called a surf prep, and they are mushing their, the sponge into it and just sanding all around it. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So this is one of the things, this thing is so interchangeable. So I could go from, as I mentioned before, you know, ripping through a finish to scuffing. And then also if I have a heavily detailed area or just rounded edges or curved edges, I have these sanding sponges, which again was a huge selling point for me, for what I do. I do a lot of, you know, scuff sanding and or distressing. Think about distressing as well. I can stick this guy on here and if I'm going around a rounded edge, how I can push this down and go right over top of it and not have to worry about um, messing with corners or overdoing, you know, like rounding corners too much. When you're refinishing, you wanna give them a little bit, but not overdo it. And sometimes if it was just a hard surface and you try to get down in there, you're, you're cutting that corner right off. Well, this, because it's so soft, you can push down into it and get all in and around rounded edges, carved edges. I've got this dresser in front of me that had this weird um, curve that went down and in, and I just took my took my pad, so you take it right off, right? It's just Velcro, it's pretty cool. You can kind of offset it, and you can kind of mush it down in there. So you can just sand right down through that. So if the crevice was like this, I could just get right down in there and just sand it. And that was actually like ripping through the finish sanding, and it worked amazingly well. So this whole interchangeable, use whatever you need for whatever you want, whatever you have going on in your shop thing has been amazing. From, so you, you bring it in, okay, you gotta scuff it, scuff it up. Oh, the top needs to be ripped down to the wood. I'll rip it down, do all of it, all with one tool. Works amazing, I think that's, well, again, was probably the well, I'd say the vibration was probably the biggest thing for me just because I was having such a hard time with that. But then having this in my hand, I think this might have jumped to the top now that I have it of just an amazing thing to be able to have where you can just change them out, use whatever you want, however you want, and then just have all the tools right at your disposal anytime. And last but not least, before I get to the dust extraction part, which I'm gonna get a little bit more detailed about, it, this thing is a multi-use tool. So I've mentioned sanding, all this stuff is sanding, but there's more to it than that. And I'm excited to share a little bit more about that. When I get what I need in-house, I'll do a whole another video. So stay tuned for that. And finally, dust extraction. This right here, folks, if you're talking about a time saver, so I've talked about some things that are time savers, right? but this is the ultimate of time savers. I can tell you right now that the process, I, t I told my wife the other day, the process of sanding something, especially ripping through a top of a dresser is a whole process. Like I have to make sure I'm in Florida, so I have to make sure it's the right time of day so I'm not in the scorching sun. I gotta make sure it's the right time of day so it's not raining outside. I gotta check the weather report. Then I have to physically take these things outside get them on the driveway and do what I gotta do. And then I gotta physically bring them back in. I gotta clean up the mess that's out there, clean up the mess that's on my tool and bring it back. So you can imagine just like how much of a pain in the, that is, right? The time that's wasted, the time where you could have been just sitting in your garage, ripping through that thing and a couple hours be done, right? So that's basically what this has been able to do with the dust extraction system that this has. And then I have purchased a rigid 16 gallon 6.5 uh, shop vac, and I'll get more in detail with that here too. But couple this, the way it's built, 
The system that they have for the dust extraction is just like a vacuum cleaner. I mean, it's legit. If I don't even push the button, like I had some dust sitting on this table before I started this video, I just had it plugged in, put, or uh, plugged into the, the shop back only, not even had this plugged in at all and just was, you know, going around my table real quick to get any little dust parts up. Works that well. So obviously having a good shop back is a key part of this, but also having the right accessories too. So again, rolling back to the beginning of the video, I decided to get the 10 foot blue and black hose with the swivel in the middle. And that's really been great when you're getting in and around and the cord not getting all tangled up. And then I got a two and a half inch connector. And I showed you earlier in the video where you go on the website to figure out what you need, depending on what kind of shop vac you got. So this was actually a part that came with the shop vac. So I took this, shoved that bad boy in there so that thing ain't, ain't moving and going anywhere. And then I take this, stick it in the end of my hose that I got from Surf Prep, and stick this end into the rigid. And I'll give you a little close up to kind of give you an idea how that works. And then I also have this other part right here that's gonna go ahead and screw into the hose and accomplish the same thing with what we have here. So pull this guy out, push that guy in there like that. So I can attach the hose in addition to my hose. So I have even more you know, room to roam around if I need that much. So you have a couple of different options with this rigid that I bought and I thought that would be important to kind of share, not just the surf prep, you know, part, but also the shop back part, but this is what you get. So ultimately for your surf prep purchase, you want to make sure you get this hose. I would definitely get this hose and make sure you get the right attachment size for whatever vacuum you get. So I'll do a little close up of how everything connects together just so you can see it. Okay, so here we are with my rigid. Again, this is the 16 gallon. I'll have the specifics of what I have down in the link below. So I have the attachment that I got from Surf Prep. I just stick that in the end of the 10 foot hose with the swivel. This is an extra two. So these two parts are extra things you add on after you pick your sanding system. And then this piece that came with my rigid, all I have to do, detach my hose, Stick this guy in here and I'm good to go. That, it's that easy. So the biggest thing is just having the right attachment. And again, I put that on the video earlier so you know exactly where to go to figure that out. And then if I want to add this guy onto the bigger hose, I take my attachment off. And with the rigid that I have, it has this other attachment that screws on and then this pops right into place. So now I have my 10 foot hose that came from surf prep. And then I don't even know how long that hose is probably another 15, 20 feet worth. So you can get all over your shop. So this was a, a really great uh, addition to, I made sure I had it actually before my surf prep arrived because I knew what I had heard about surf preps dust extraction system, the way it, it was, uh, takes the dust away having a great shop back coupled with it just makes for basically no dust. And when I say no dust, I really mean like literally no dust. I've done all the sanding I've done over the last 45 days ish right here in this garage and have had such a minimal amount of cleanup. And what I'm going to try to do for you guys, I'm going to do a little close up of sanding with it with no vacuum, show you what the dust looks like and then do another video with the dust extraction on, turned on, vacuum on, all the things so you can kind of see the difference of what I'm talking about. So hopefully that'll help you figure out, okay, surf prep with this is a great combo. All right, so we're gonna add our pad saver first, obviously to go ahead and take care of our pad. Pad's the red part that you stick everything to. And then we have a 120 grit sanding sheet. And you see, I'm a big dummy because I was more worried about you seeing the 120 and not flipping it over. <laughs> this is actually sanding film, I believe. The green ones are the sanding film. And turning it on, push the little button in the middle. You can hit plus to minus to have it 
be more aggressive or less aggressive. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little pencil mark in here so you can just see first and foremost how well it works. But what we're doing here is with no vacuum. And you can see your normal dust. I have that black background so you can see it really well. Just dust everywhere. So imagine you're in your shop and that was from literally 15 seconds. You imagine an hour worth, you would just have one big dusty hot mess of a, a space really. And you can see it's just left all over your piece. So it's falling down into the grain as you're sanding, which is all just no good. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna turn on the vacuum, not even turn it on the sander and just use it as a vacuum cleaner and watch. This is not, I haven't turned on the sanding part, just the vacuum part. So my vacuum's on and I get all that dust and out of the way. That's how well this system works with a vacuum hooked up to it. Now I'm gonna do it without or with it plugged into the shop vac and actually using it. And you're gonna see no dust anywhere. I mean, I'm doing it for even a little bit longer because I was like, okay, I wanna make sure I'm really showing this to everybody. But if you look against that black background, there is no dust. And I'm gonna run my finger, my hand across it as well, just to kind of give you another representation of how well that sand extraction works. It's absolutely amazing. So there you have it. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? So with the dust extraction off, dust everywhere. With it on, no dust. I mean, no dust. I've been doing it inside in these first 45 days. I have not taken it outside at all. I had the shop back before I got the sander, so I already had all my ducks in a row. So right when I got it, I could hit the ground running. The biggest thing again is making sure you have the right hose and the right attachment from surf prep right off the bat. So please follow that little cheat thing they have on their website to help you figure out which one you need. But the dust extraction, I'm telling you, is probably the biggest time saver of all of the things. So we've gone through, you know, like, the vibration and it not causing pain. We've gone through all the cool attachments, the fact that it's a multi-purpose tool and all those things are great. But at the end of the day, the, the, the time, the time is a big thing for me. And having such an amazing dust extraction system within this thing and a great shop back is, is absolutely a time saver and makes it so you can do anything you really need to do in your house in your garage, wherever you need to do it inside. And for me, living in Florida, being outside is always a tricky thing. One minute could be sunshiny and the next minute it could be raining. So this was a great thing for me to have. Okay, so with all that said, is the surf prep sanding system worth the cost? That's ultimately what this video is about, right? I wanted to lay down the foundation of what I bought, what I'm using it for, and all the really cool features, but is it worth the money? And to me, if you couldn't already tell, I really feel like it is. I mean, at the end of the day, you can buy another sander. And as I mentioned earlier, if you buy one, you're gonna need another one for this and another one for that. Or you can buy one surf prep sanding system and be able to do all the things that multiple sanders allow you to do and a whole lot more. The, the, the things that this thing does is not like any other sander that you're gonna find out there on the market right now. The time saving, the uh, options, the dust extraction, the fact that I'm not in pain every time I use the thing, to me are well worth the amount. But ultimately when you're looking at it, I'm looking at it from a business perspective, the time saving alone is worth. My time is money. The time I spend on a piece, time I take to scuff it, to sand down, to do distressing. You know how long distressing takes? It's money. So if I can find a tool that's gonna allow me to save time and then in turn get back to what I wanna be doing, that's an amazing thing and well worth the money. And then the other thing I wanna mention, which is really amazing, is that I'm a furniture artist, furniture refinisher. And I'm thinking about brushes and paints and things like that when I'm thinking about what I'm going to do to a piece. And this is the first time in, you know, the five, six years I've been doing this, that I look at a tool and adjust fire on what I'm going to do or even pieces I'm gonna pick up. I'm telling you right now, the piece that I have in front of me that I sanded all over, I would not have bought normally. 
thinking through like, oh, I gotta sand all that. I gotta do this to get down. I would never in a million years have done that. I would have just skipped over that piece and moved on to another one that had an easier finish to scuff and do the things to. But now I have the surf prep sander has changed the way I look at pieces now. And the piece was 45 bucks, probably gonna sell it for 450 at the end of the day. Solid wood, beautiful piece. And I would have skipped over it and not done anything, not had a piece to paint. Now, when I go out looking, I'm always thinking, well, I got my surf prep. I know I can sand through that or I could fix that or I could scuff this. So that's another really huge selling point for me. And another reason why I really feel like it's absolutely worth your money. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, anything involved with what I've shared today and just how it works and stuff like that, please let me know. It's been my first 45 days. And as I mentioned at the very, very beginning, I actually bought the system myself. Uh, after talking to some friends in the business, I purchased it myself in about 30, 40 days in, I started sharing stuff on all my social media. And not soon after, Surf Prep got a hold of me and we decided we would collab together on sharing information about the Surf Prep. When they contacted me, it was basically a no-brainer at that point. I'd already been playing and testing and doing all this stuff and I knew I absolutely loved it. So when they, they asked for me to be an affiliate and work with them as a Team Surf Prep you know, person to go out there and share all the information, I was like, oh, I'm all on board with that because I know a lot of folks who might be on the fence and need somebody just to share some more information from my perspective as somebody who actually invested in it from the front end. And was it worth it? And to me, absolutely thousand percent worth it. And um, I hope this information was helpful for you to maybe make that decision. But if it's not enough, I'll have more videos coming very, very soon to go through more things and more intricate details of you know, the sponges and some other cool things you can do with this tool since it's not just the sander. So as always, if you like the video, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit do the share, the, all the YouTube stuff that will help me grow my channel, share information. As I always say, create, share, inspire. I'm hoping to inspire somebody maybe to reach outside of just that painting zone. They want to sand down to wood, but aren't really sure what tools are right ones and which how to do it, all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping this video like this, going through some extra stuff with new tools will help you make that decision. And then if you didn't know, as I partnered up with Surf Prep, they have allowed me to have a discount code for you to be able to get 5% off your purchase on their website. I'll have in the link down below, our description down below, I'll have the link, I'll have my discount code and all that kind of good stuff. Everything you're gonna need to pick up what you need. But I wanted to just let you guys know at the front end, so this wasn't as much of a sales pitch as much as Mark doing what Mark does. I like to share information. I like to share the best tools, the things that I find. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew I bought this thing. I had no intentions of joining forces with Surf Prep when this thing started. It just, it was absolutely perfect timing. They contacted me after I'd already fell in love and it was a perfect opportunity for me to share more with you guys. And having that affiliate link and discount code cost you nothing to use, actually saves you a little bit. And I thankfully will get a little bit of kickback from that to help continue to grow my channel, to help continue to provide free content for everyone. So please go ahead and check that out. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I hope everybody has a blessed day and as always, happy painting.